Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which helps us in printing level order traversal with direction changing after every two levels in a binary tree. First, let us take an example. In the above example, first two levels are printed from left to right. Then the next two levels are printed from right to left and then the last level is printed from left to right. Now let us see the approach. We make use of Q and stack here. Q is used for doing a normal level order traversal and stack is used for reversing the direction. While doing a normal level order traversal, first two level nodes are printed at the time when they are popped out from the queue. For the next two levels, Instead of printing the nodes, we push them into the stack. When all the nodes of current level are popped out, we print nodes in the stack. In this way, we print the nodes in right to left order by making the use of a stack. Now for the next two levels, we again do a normal level order traversal for printing from left to right. Then for the next two nodes, we make use of stack for achieving right to left. In this way, we will achieve desired modified level order traversal by making the use of both Q and stack. Next, let us have a look at the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 to modified level order function. So node will point to 1. Since node is not null, we check if it is a leaf node. As it is not we create a queue and a stack. Next, we take a node temp which points to null. Two integers s, z and ct and a boolean right to left variable initialized to false. Then we enqueue the root node which is 1 into the queue. Since queue is not empty, we enter the while loop and increment ct by 1. Also. S, Z will be equal to the number of elements in the queue which is 1. Then we do a normal level order traversal. Since S, Z is 1, the for loop will run once and temp will point to the front element in the queue which is 1 and 1 will be popped. We check if right to left is false. As it is, we print temp's data. So 1 will be printed. Then we enqueue the left and right of 1 into the queue and come out of the for loop. Since right to left is false, the if condition does not get satisfied and also since ct is not equal to 2, the last if condition is not satisfied as well and we continue with the while loop. So ct will now be 2 and sz will also be 2 as there are two elements in the queue. We iterate over the for loop twice. So first, temp will be 2 and 2 will be popped. Again as right to left is false, we print temp's data. So 2 is printed. Also we enqueue both the children of 2 into the queue. So 7 and 6 will be enqueued. Now temp will point to 3 and 3 will be dequeued. Again as right to left is false. We print temp which is 3 and enqueue the left and right of 3 which are 5 and 4. We come out of the for loop and now as the last if condition which is ct equal equal to 2 is satisfied, we set right to left to opposite of what it was and reinitialize ct to 0. We continue with the while loop and now ct will be 1 and sz will be 4. We iterate over the for loop 4 times so first temp will point to 7 and 7 will be dequeued. Now as right to left is false, the if condition does not get satisfied and we go to the else part and push temp into the stack. Next temp will point to 6 and 6 will be popped. Just as for node 7, 6 will also be pushed into the stack. The same goes for nodes 5 and 4. Then we come out of the for loop and now as right to left is true, 
we pop elements from the stack one by one and print them. So 4, 5, 6, 7 will be popped and printed. Now as ct is not equal to 2, the if condition does not get satisfied and since the queue becomes empty, we break out of the while loop and we have the final answer. Now let's have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here n are the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.